Hello everybody, it's I, the Willoji Big Mac. Welcome to a brand new Let's Play, and guys, it's finally out. Anton Blast is out. So, for those of you who don't know, uh, or at least haven't watched the Pizza Tower... If you watch the Pizza Tower Let's Play, and you recall from the first episode, uh, I'm talking about the original one, not the uh, noise playthrough. But, uh, I mentioned that I am a, a backer for this game, and sh yeah, and... Just to confirm, yes, I am one of the backers for this game. I helped crowdfund uh, this game, and my and my full legal name is in the credits. Please trust me. I check just to make sure it's there. But um, but yeah. So so yeah, this game. So yeah. So, sorry, I'm just so excited. Uh, also, I like. I also shout out to to them crossing out 2022 to make 2023. And then they delayed it to 2024 before delaying it one more time because of the because of the hurricane in Florida. Which, speaking of which, I'm glad. E which, speaking of which, I'm glad they delayed the game because I would rather because I, I would rather have all the devs be uh, safe and sound. And B, uh, a delayed game makes the game better because it also gives them some more time to kind of polish the game out. Ooh. Sorry, they changed the file system compared to the the One Blast demo, which the One Blast demo came out uh, after they delayed the game to to today, December third. Uh, I'm I'm literally playing this the day it came out because you know I got my code from Fan Gamer and everything. Anyway, we're gonna do file one. So, unlike the Pizza Tower Let's Play, which I did two of them because the noise update was a post post launch thing. When I mean post launch, I mean it came out a year later. Um, this game, you you automatically get two playable characters, and it doesn't matter which one you pick, both of them plays the same. You got Anton and you got Annie. Now, this isn't their first rodeo. They first their first game is Anton Ball Deluxe, which is it was a base. Think of it as like think of it as like Arkanoid. Think of it as like Arkanoid or Breakout. But instead of uh, using a paddle, you, yourself, the paddle. Or I guess in this case, Anton or Annie. Of course, there's a bunch of other characters that show up. In fact, a lot of people are thinking this game's going to be like the Pizza Tower Killer. Those people who say that are not are oblivious to the fact that Mick Pig and Tony Grayson, the, the creators for P Pizza Tower and Anton Blast, respectively, are actually really great friends. To the point that Peppino from Pizza Tower showed up in Anton Ball... Deluxe as a playable character. As well as the demo for Anton Ball Deluxe. Like the, uh... I believe it was the Sage demo. Even it featured Snick. A character from Pizza Tower that... For the most part went unused. Because he was meant to be a joke. Like a jab at, a jab at Sonic. Anyway, enough talking. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Magical Noah of Bing Saul. Tell me now, am I the reddest? Well, of course, my lord. But there is another. Great all-powerful mirror of question-based magic. Who among the earth-walking Cretans shines more crimson than I? You're more of a magenta. I love the voice acting so much. Uh, it would seem his name is Dynamite Anton. I demand that you sign to this Antoine. Find out what he loves the most and take it from him. He will come running and I will siphon his delightfully losing soul. Oh, look at the big guy. Meanwhile, uh oh, that guy's dead.
Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Look at them go. Thumbnail. I'm gonna blast them into teeny tiny little pieces! No, Tony Grayson, if you need someone to voice, uh, evil Anton, I'm your man. Anyway, let me just grab this before I forget about it. Uh, so, you guys may be wondering how this game plays. It's no pizza tower. Rather than holding down a button, if you want to go fast, you want, you have to press the, uh, the dash button a bunch. And you do go really fast if you're good. This game rewards skill based, uh, rewards your skill if you want to go fast. With that being said, the main mechanics of this game is simple. Obviously, you got your jump button, you got your hammer bounce. This is probably one of my favorite mechanics because you can, because the platforming, I've seen some of the platforming for, for this game because I played all the demos. Yeah, the hammer bounce is definitely really fun. And then you have the hammer bounce. Or, sorry, not the hammer bounce, the clutch. So, sorry, I got my terms mixed up. The clutch is your... The clutch... Is your... Is... It's the equivalent... The clutch is the equivalent to the... To the shoulder bash, to warrior shoulder bash, and Pepino's grab dash. You have a slide. And then you have this move. This is your ground pound. Fun fact. That... This little animation here, uh, before you do the hammer bounce. Let me, actually, let me jump this, that animation right there. Uh, that one used to be the animation for the, that one used to be the animation for, what do you call it? It used to be the animation for the, for the ground pound before they changed it because people were getting confused between it and the hammer bounce. Good change, honestly. And this one teaches you about uh, about the clutch boosting. Now, the way it works is that, uh, see that meter on the bottom right? When you press clutch, uh, when you press the clutch while that thing is uh, red, you get, you get a little boost the speed, as well you see a visual effect where Anton literally explodes. Yeah, so, that's how you gain your lot of speed, and that's how a lot of, I'm going to assume that's how speedrunners will be blasting through the levels. I'm homesick. The air is so much cleaner in hell, you know. That's America for you. But anyways, yeah. Yeah, that's how you're going to be r running away in your escape sequence and everything. Now, the describe... So, the way you describe Piece of Towers gameplay is that it's Wario Land with the art style of Courage the Cowardly Dog. Uh, but, but it has a lot of, like, Sonic influence. This game is basically... Take, like... You take Wario Land 4... Uh... But you, but you make it play a bit similar to Crash Bandicoot. And I'll say as much, uh, uh, Tony, uh, Tony Grayson, you know, the guy who, you know, created Anton and everything, Mr. Anton himself, he's a big Crash guy. So, I can respect him for, like, personally, I never played Crash Bandicoot too much. Like, I played the original, but that's about it. But yeah, I can, I can, res I can respect uh, how this game turned out, or like a lot of the, this game's influence. And here, we got one of the collectibles here, a spray can. This gives Anton 
this gives Anton that, like, a Wario-ish color. Like, this is literally, this is literally Wario's uh, color palette from Wario Land 2. Technically, technically, you don't have to do what I just did there. But I just did it anyway, because why the hell not? Let's see, I'm trying to figure out what else that I can talk about. Um, when you when you press the clutch button when you're right next to any of those colorful brick blocks or an enemy, you also get a huge boost of speed. Case in point, if, if you hear that little cartoon sound effect, like the pew, you know, something like that, it, it, that that's how you, that's how you can tell uh, you got it. Yeah, like that. That's literally the best. That's yeah. So that's another way you can get a lot of speed. Now I mentioned there's a lot of Warrior Land influence, and like not only is just Warrior Land four, it's also Virtual Boy Warrior Land because of the whole jumping in between foreground and background. But you also got this magenta room that's clearly supposed to be referencing the Virtual Boy. Now, honestly, I'm not sure if they changed it. Now, in, in the first demo, the Kickstarter demo, this room used to be, like, literally just red and black. Literally, like, Virtual Boy. I'm wondering if they had to change it, either to make, make it easier on people's eyes, or Nintendo asked them to do it, uh, to change it. Because one thing I'll mention about Anton Blast is that, right off the get-go, Anton Blast was going to be released for both Steam and uh and Nintendo Switch where with Pizza Tower it was strictly Steam. I'm gonna take a swig of my soda real quick. But it, Pizza Tower was initially released for Steam and uh, McPig and the dev team weren't sure if they were gonna release this for Switch. But a lot of people have been asking them for a Switch port. So they eventually gave gave in at it in Switch port. And, and again, that's just my interpretation of it. For all, for all, for all we know, they could have, for, for all I know, they, they were, they could have always been planning a Switch port and, and just wanted to fuck with us. Because, um, they, they like to mess with us, uh, the Pieces of Tower team. Oh, you're just gonna, yeah, okay, yeah, that's, that's yours now, I guess. I, I love, I love the, the mini, uh, demons there. Really, really good, really good touch to make to make those rooms a bit more have a bit more uh, personality. Yeah. Anyway, this isn't my first attempt with recording this let's play, or at least this episode. This is the second attempt, and that's just because the audio the audio was very low on it. And, you know, I want you guys to be able to hear the awesome music, uh, the sound effects, Anton's lovely, lovely voice, and all the explosions! But yeah, in, in terms of, you, if you guys are wondering how I feel about the game, obviously I played the demo, but now that I'm playing the full game, it feels really nice to play. A lot of... I feel like... I feel like a lot of my issues that were in the demos, I think, have been addressed. Have been addressed and fixed. Anyway, uh... There goes that guy! <laughs> See ya! Now, similar to Pizza Tower, and I guess in, in this aspect, uh, Wario Land 4 and Shake It, there's an escape sequence. Uh, you know, this is this game set piece of time for those uh, that are, that wanted to put in uh, simpler terms.
Sorry, I'm a bit stuffy today. But, um, yeah. Ow, damn it. Anyway, this is where the clutch boost kind of becomes your friend. If you're skilled enough to get it. Uh, I'm the... Despite, despite playing the demos a bit, I kind of suck. I really suck. But you know what? That's fine. I'm sure as this let's play goes on, I'll get a bit better. There we go. That's the speed I'm looking for. Anyway, I forgot to mention it. Hey, look, it's the Boss Busters. I remember they revealed these guys, and I'm so pumped to, to actually fight them when I get around to doing so. Ah, no, I missed. Shit. Shit. Gotta go. Unfortunately, you didn't get the you get thing in see full sequence because it is a bit on the challenging side. But I like the uh, the first Steam demo that they released. So yeah, I like the first Steam demo. Uh, they didn't really put anything too important there. Because originally, the music disc would be there. Or, like, there used to be a disc or something. We're going to make a little detour here, because there's another secret that we can access during uh, happy hour. As you may see, we can't go back there now. But we never went down here. Oops. Yeah, we missed that. Got that. Uh, I'm just going to not bother collecting those. Oh, man. I am using up all of our time here. Shit. Sorry, I thought I'm failing you. Hooey. Use a lot of time for that. And there we go. <laughs> oh boy. Hello, Brulo. I love, I love that Anton has a New Yorker accent. Jesus, Anton. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. Some slimy rat bastard stole the spirits I took from behind your counter. I'd say my time's better spent taking care of that than, uh, if you cry about your dead wife or whatever. Jesus, Anton. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, uh, okay. I'll tell you what. I'll let you use my establishment as your place of operations to get back your spirits. 
And as long as you make good on clearing out those satanic pests screwing up my business, I'll lift the ban. Well, uh, I gotta admit, I, uh, crying a mess, my boy. And, uh... God, I'm so stuffy today. And I'm so sorry, folks. The feeling is not mutual. Now get out of here before I change my mind. Alright, so it seems like we got a shop here. This was definitely not in the demo. We got the timer add-on, add additional minute the next time you trigger uh, spirit timer. So, next time happy hour happens. Uh, Golden Beat, grants temporary health uh, point that disappears next time you get hit. Oh, hey, they have done stall! You know what? Then, you know what? I might have to check something as soon as I uh, do a thing. Uh, your faithful pet joins you on the next stage. And we'll pick things up for you. Oh, please tell me Ant on Ball is in here. Please tell me there's a reference to, to that funny guy from Ant on Ball. Balloon. Something to distract you while you're out there. Don't get hit or burst. Funny. Want to pay for a new TV? Be my guest. We don't get a new channel, so... Spray can. Okay, uh, spray can found in the dumpster outside. It says Starry Night on it. Okay. This one is Jaw Blaster. This one has this one has the label scratched off, so I don't know what it is. Eat it at your own risk. And then we got Cassetti. Part of a vintage collection my ex-wife and I used to listen to. This one's got a breakthrough written on it. Please buy this. I'll do that. And I can't buy anything else. That is perfectly fine. So, we're gonna go in here. We got... Oh my god, I just realized that I forgot to show off something. There's a cream bun. This does nothing, by the way. It does nothing, but you can do so funny stuff like... Call says, screen to violently shake. You can also do it... You can also do it with Annie, too. Uh, so... The way when it works, because these two play the exact same, like, case in point. Clutch still works the same. Uh, the mace bounce because she uses a mace. That still works. She still has that. She has. She still has the slide and everything. So yeah, the way I want to have Anton and Annie work is that each episode I'll be playing it, uh, either Anton or Annie. So before I switch back to Anton, I want to check and see. Mm, yep, Annie's cat is there instead of uh, Anton's dog. Okay, so that's that's a, that's a good attention to detail. Uh, now the color, now they also get different color color palettes. So, red guy, the classic look, somewhat controversial in recent times. And then we got Warrior Land. We owe it all to him. So as I stated when we got this color, this, clo this color is clearly based on Warrior Land, Warrior's uh, color palette from Warrior Land 2. Now, Annie's color from the first level is SS Syrup, a wardrobe fit for a captain. This is based off of Captain Syrup. Uh, the, she was the main antagonist of the first two Warrior Lands. And then... And then she's also... A she's basically a recurring character from Warrior Land. Anyways, Nina's office. Here are the numbers. So... So you so you can actually read So you can actually read everything here. Like I said, I I uh, already had a failed recording, so the play time is a bit higher than normal. Steps taken, times you have died, times hit, times played. <laughs> I forgot. You have a time you have a you have a timer for how long you scream, things broken, and hus I husband maiming. So remember that guy we we uh, uh, knocked off the building in the first level? That's Nina's husband, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this game is funny. I'm, I'm sad, though, because you missed my... You guys won't be able to hear my first reaction to, uh, to reading the husband maimings. Anyway, we might as well move on to the second level. Take a screenshot. It'll last longer. Okay. I, God, I hope that has 
the Steam screenshot sound effect uh, showed up, or at least, or at least the sound pop, pop while recording. Anyway, this is the second level that was in the One Blast demo, which was the final demo before the game's release. Uh, again, created when the game got delayed. I always... I always... Fall in that uh, fire pit there. But... I'm pretty sure this level probably... Hasn't changed too much. Uh, since the last time I played the demo. Okay, let me see if I can get this first try. Okay, well, good thing my hammer bounce uh, failed there. Yes! Okay, I got it. Excellent. Whew. I don't have to jump cut, so that's good. Whoop. Okay, we're just going to keep going here. Ouch. I don't like the zappy zaps. Yeah, these guys you can't kill. I don't... Yep. They go invisible every time you go in the water, so... You can't deal with them. So they're just a constant threat. Just... After, after they zap, you're good to jump in the water. So... That's that. And then here's this level's main gimmick. Uh, blocks blocking the water flow. So you need to have the water flow so you can so you can have the gate open. there we go we go also, I also like how instead of pipes because originally it was like pipes or stuff the transition between uh, areas and now they made it a dumpster which I think fits which, personally, I think it fits the game a bit better. Fuck you, mole. Anyways. Anyway, there's that. Jump down here. Yeah, sorry I'm not talking too much right now, because I did a lot of my talking in the first level. Since, you know... I forgot that guy likes to pop out the boxes. And then, uh, oh yeah, we're breaking toilets now, uh, so that's neat. Anyway, you can go up here and get a little uh, casino thing. You know what? I actually needed a health field anyway, so that worked out. Anyway, you can time that, by the way. Yeah, I don't. I I don't remember there being any two big secrets here, and there's no eels here as well, so. You don't have to worry about uh, getting electrocuted. Also, what I mean, this area. You can uh, clutch while in the water. It is hard to control, though, so speedrunners will probably be using the clutch to speed through the water sections. But, but to me, going too fast in them makes it a bit more on the uncontrollable side. There we go. Did that first try. And we have our first transformation. Yes, like Warrior Land and uh, Pizza Tower, this game has transformations as well. This was not really a transformation, more like you're, you just kind of got a vehicle you're controlling, similar to the uh, the weenie from uh, Pizza Tower. <coughs> Sorry.
Yeah, I don't know what you can do over here. Like, believe me, I tried doing everything I could. Like, hammer bounce, the ground pound, screaming. It does nothing, so... I don't know. Like, that room seems pretty particular to me, and I don't know why. Because as far as I know, I haven't found any secrets in there yet. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe those who play test the game... Okay, so... Ah, damn it. I thought they already did their stupid little sapping stuff. Get me out of here. There we go. Okay, this is the room I... There we go. Here's another thing we need to collect, but first we have to go through all this here. Fast. Too fast. Anyway, we got that. Oops, I didn't mean to fall down here again. Oh, not a big deal. I guess it lost us like that. Uh, if you press Y, if you press Y on your controller, you can check uh, your current health and uh, collectible progress. Anyway, chances are I'll probably die at least once during the escape sequence here. Mainly because the escape sequence is a bit on the challenging side. Gotta get the big, gotta get the big one. There better be some form of health thing here. Nope. Just gonna play a safe fight. There we go. Okay, much needed help. Whoo-wee. Yep, and then here's the other gimmick with this uh, crazy boat thing. Yep, so you can... Okay. Yeah, I know there's a secret we can grab. Right there. It requires... There we go. So now we are monochrome. I believe this skin is called Classic Annie and Classic Anton because Anton Ball on Steam is called Anton Ball Deluxe. It's basically a deluxe version of the original Anton Ball game. The original game... The, the original game, supported this way, was based on just a regular Game Boy game. So like monochrome, monochrome graphics and everything.
So that so that's where this skin comes from. And and he has the same monochrome skin. So this is one of the few skins that's actually shared between the two. And I believe every level you are guaranteed to get the spirit. This is the thing you're always guaranteed to get, I'm pretty sure. Okay, cool. I didn't fall in the I didn't fall down there for once. And it's happy hour, folks. Whew. That was that was close. A press in there. Uh, happened there. Ah. Uh. There we go. I got that first try. Whew. That was the one part I thought I was going to lose on. Yeah, I man, that's what I kind of mean by it's kind of hard to control when you do, when you clutch it in the water. All right, there we go. And we're all good. We collected everything from this level. And I think we even died once. And just like that. Excellent. Okay, that seems like the next one. Um, interesting. You know what? Before we even do that, let's just. You know what? Let's confirm that was Nina's uh, husband there. Yep. Yep, that was her husband. Yep, so... Husband Mamings. Yep. You know what? Let's read the fav flavor text for, uh... Classic Anton. Feeling... Feeling classic. And then for Annie, I believe it's... So... So retro. Anyway, let's... We can definitely afford some other stuff. Uh, oh! Cool shades you can wear. Oh, we are short on that. So it seems like the middle one always cycles through. Oh, you can buy that again. Interesting. This one's got alphabet gloops. Suboptimal written on it. Please buy this. 
Um, maybe later. We're gonna figure out what this color is. Man, there's a lot of colors here. Up, jaw blaster. You know, I'll help you find your spirits for a quarter. So, I guess it gives you a random one, which meant I technically have one from the shop now. Jesus, Jesus there's a lot. You know what? Let's see what we got for Annie. I hate that we have to s scroll all the way up. Scammer Destroyer. Can you believe she's just one of the three? Or she's just one of three? Interesting. Well then. So... If we go over here... Ball Buster. Or Ball Busting. Gothic. Oh, so the, so the second level after each, each level. Okay, I see now. Okay, I see, I see, uh, I see a uh, summer sphere. I see ya. Uh. Well, we might as well figure out what's it, what's going on in this level here. Oh my God, it's a boss. Oh, world the boss fight, the brawl buster. See, so we have to hit him while he's taunting. All right. Okay. So how do we beat this guy? Okay. Out. Okay, just like that, we lost. Alrighty, then. Ouch. Oh, I, I love Anton Swank Swanky. Oh, my God. Yeah, they're not kidding. This game will kick your ass. There we go, okay. Okay, I'm I'm understanding the gimmick of this false fight now. Okay. Okay, we're gonna restart this since I Bullshit, I jumped! I jumped, game! I, I see. Okay, so I see now.
There, okay, I'm understanding the boss fight now. Okay. Alrighty, folks, this is what this we're gonna be stuck on. I'm never ready for that for that instant charge at the start of the fight. So he's gonna do his stupid big uh, big blammo move, and have. I did not know he can actually. Okay, so he's gonna big do his big, big shockwave. You know, this kind of reminds me of Red Brief J from from Wario World. Oh my God, he! he oh my God, <laughs> he pulled out a fucking chair. Okay. Oh my god. So that... Whew. Yeah, honestly, that fight didn't really... Look at... Once you understand the whole fight's gimmick, I kind of see... That, was... that boss fight wasn't really that challenging. Yeah. Wait, how, how the fuck am I supposed to... How am I supposed to get up there? Hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, I get it now. There's more, there's more to the hub we can explore. Hold on. I didn't realize this. Okay, so there's a level right there. I wonder what that one's all about. I see now. Let's see, this was the other demo level. I know what Antoine's middle name is, but I'll never tell you. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, so Cinnamon Springs. Hold on. There's, there's a little guy here. My friend brought me here on a vacation, but I don't really want to look at rocks and stuff, so I crawled under here to die or sleep. Whichever comes first. Such, such a friend you are. Um, anyways, yeah, this is the other level they uh, showed off in one of the demos. Not the one blast, not the one blast demo, but. It's not the one blast demo, but specifically the one before it, just the, the regular Kickstarter. Not the, not even the Kickstarter demo. It's the uh, the first Steam one. There we go. Okay. Oh, this thing he burnt. Yep. I kind of want to try and, like, discover every single nook and cranny. Just because, you know, this game encourages ex exploration a lot.
food. Okay, we need to find healing badly. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we're just gonna m move on from where that is. Alrighty. Yeah, I wonder how much this level changed. Uh... I'm kind of genuinely curious. Because I'm not going to be... I know for a fact I'm not going to be getting everything from this level here. Wow, what a beautiful fist. I can't believe Greg's missing. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so there's a friend of that guy hiding underneath there. You're a special kind of jackass! <laughs> oh my god, that's way too funny. If I recall correctly, there was a secret collectible in this area. There we go. Yep. Okay, jump too early. Okay, so it's still there from the looks of it, so... There we go. Oh, they they moved, removed it. Those cheeky bastards. Off, and we're gonna and obviously we can't get that right now. Uh, oh, excuse me, I'm trying to. There we go. God. Oh, what are these guys? Oh, you know what? I'm wondering if they're here just to help you. I see now. I think they're here to... Yep. Okay. You know what? Nice fail saving on their part. Maybe we can go down here. Wow, what a pretty purple peak. Poor... And poor Greg missing out. Oh, it's this guy again. I know just Mother Nature hates to see you coming. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they, they really add a lot more personality to, to those extra... Right? Oh my... Oh, it's this guy. Uh, just being an absolute menace to society. My favorite, my favorite type of uh, pastime. Yeah, I think the only thing that's... Oh, don't tell... Oh, we have to go through all that again. Okay, this one isn't too hard, though. Got that. Go through here. Kill him again. You know what? I wonder if killing him ag again uh, counts towards the uh, husband main uh, account. There we go. 
Okay. So, so you, so you kind of lose. You do, so you're forced to lose a health point if you try and get that there. Good to know. I mean, I mean, so far this level seems to be the same. They just change around some of the uh, more unique collectibles. Also, this is the tornado Anton transformation. Wow, I can't believe I did that first try. Yeah, I'm just worried I'm missing some of the collectibles. This is not going to be a 100% run because this is this is my first time playing the game. And I feel like if I want to do 100%, I would have to, you know, play the game first before before I even bother trying to do 100%. Because I mean, by playing the game beforehand, I would basically know I would know where all the collectibles are. And I feel like and I feel like I probably missed something back there. Ooh. Ooh, I, ooh, I like what they did to for the music in this area. And good okay, good and good to know the uh I can't believe I got that. What I wonder. Yep, that worked. That worked like I. That worked how I tended it. Okay, there we go. This Daruma's fire is so beautiful. Craig would love this. Yeah, well, I say fuck, Greg. Do you hate joy? Okay, we at least got the spray can. Very pink, apparently. Hey, that guy respond. Okay, so we just have to do this. Shit. You know what? It's not, it's not even needed for this area. Or that part right there. This is this is where a lot of the trickier platforming comes in.
There we go. It definitely made this platforming. It's either the same or it's just a tap in more harder. Let's see. I mean, now that we made it up here, I'm gonna head down. But but just to see if I can make it to a very specific spot. Got it. Ah. You know what? I say it's worth it. Oh, bullshit. Okay, so at least we're getting some of the stuff. Oh, I remember this. I remembered this part. Oh my god. Oh man. Yeah, I remember hating that part when I was playing this level during the demo. Oh my god, I re also remember these assholes. I think there's a way I can get over there. Yep, and then they're basically showing you what you have to do here. I'm sure a lot of people playing the demo probably had trouble with this part. Oh my god, they give you a lot of grace period for that. It seems like they give you a lot of... Looks like they fine-tuned that level. I think they fine-tuned that part and gave you a lot of leniency. Oh my god. Yeah, honestly, I don't mind it because... Because some of those platforming parts can be very annoying to do. Over and over again. Anyway, we can go through this way now. Can't go this way. That seems like a one way only type scenario. Oh, and then you got. First try. I don't know. I don't know if I'm just better at the game or they definitely adjusted the timing for that right there, but whatever happened, I'm kinda glad. those guys. Woo! 
I love how far far flying you go. Um Cool. Uh, I don't think that was the intended thing you had to do, but you know, we take those. Yeah, I need I need to do my fun presents a bit better. Oh, I got trolled. Yeah, be careful when you do do a jumping uh, cl uh, cl clutch. Okay, this time I'm gonna wait for that stupid platform to show up. Damn it! Yeah, so be careful when you. Press, if you press both of them at the same time, you're going to do the hammer bound. So, do be careful about those uh, about those presses, because otherwise you're going to completely whiff whatever you're trying to get to. <laughs> oh man, fuck this building. And just like that, it is happy hour. All right, time to get out of here. Oh yeah, they give oh yeah, they give you a lot of time for this. Not sure if they want you to explore a lot or or this level is just pretty long. But you know what? I'm perfectly fine with that. Okay, this is not steep enough for me to roll down. Eleven, not bad. Oop. That, that's a lot of dead one of these guys. And that's how you get that. So I believe we are going to be missing only one of the collectibles, but that's, hey, two out of four ain't bad. Well, if, if we ignore the spirits, obviously. Although I will say... Rather take my time here. I 
I'd rather take my time than risk losing it all. There we go. Yeah, so we're only missing the uh, the mixtape. So, but you know what? They ain't bad. And then, and I never even seen that level before. So, so I'm pretty much gonna be blind for most of this. Uh, for well, this point four, I'm gonna be pretty blind to this. But hey, that ain't bad. All right, well, let's see. Did it count as? Here are the numbers. Freedom yep, <laughs> the extra husband maiming counted. Let's see. Let's see what the non-human. This game is non-human. <laughs> and then what was they called for, Anton? Micro, micro, Mike. If only Micro Mike would slow the blast down. Anyway, let's just go check the shop. An awesome hat you can wear. That's actually kind of tempting. Okay, this is Salbonata. Tis the season, so that's a Christmas outfit. You know what? I'm gonna get the hat. Assuming you can wear it. Guess not. Alrighty then. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure I could probably figure out where you can wear that stuff. All that stuff in there. And like all that and everything. Oh actually probably Prime there. You can listen to the music. Hello and welcome to the Brule Tech Tape Deck cassette system. Interesting. So, so that's where you can listen to all those. Well then. Oh god, you can actually get hurt? But anyways. That is it for today's episode. If you guys enjoy the content I do, please consider subscribing as a as a really help and it'll help the channel grow. Also be sure. Also, especially if you want to see me play Anthem Blast, I definitely suggest you, uh, well, uh, subscribe. Since this, since this episode's going straight up after, uh, after the last, uh, Dead Rising Let's Play. But, uh, and that's, but that's besides the point. Anyways, anyways, uh, anyways, if you like the content, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. I help the channel grow. Be sure to leave a like and a comment to help uh, to help this video show up on the algorithm. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're going to be going into... Unfortunately, he's not going to tell us this level, so... Uh, this sugary candy uh, rock-looking level. Until, until then, I'll see you guys next time. Until then, buh buh Oh and oh and on a really note, I figured out how the how the cowboy works. So yeah, that's fun. Anyway, see ya, folks.